Hello guys, welcome once again. This is the second part of the email sending uh, tutorial via Gmail SMTP server. So in the last video we have written this code and we will go further in this video. I noticed one error in the previous video I have made in the second line I have written smtp gmail dot gom which should be gmail dot com so I, I noticed that I have done this spelling mistake here so just correct this spelling and after that you have to write session this is a new session we are starting and right session dot get default instance and in here automatically comes props which is this variable name and after this you will write a comma and you will complete your semicolon and just give a little bit space after this comma and this code because we are going to write a long line here so write new java x dot mail dot authenticator and this code automatically comes and in this brackets you have to write protected password authentication get password authentication in here and we'll end the bracket and make new semicolon this all code you are writing inside this session only so don't be confused and go here and in this you have to write sorry so here you write return new password authentication and here you will write your email id for example whatever is your email id x y z at the rate of gmail dot com so here you write your email id and here you write your password and semicolon so let's see what is the error error is here uh, written written java.net so I, will, I have to write only this code and here also I think I should write this only so write this this is a one session which starts from here and ends here and in between you have to write here so don't be confused just write this this is your actual gmail id and this is your actual password which uh, you are using for your gmail and then after this session closes you have to write a try catch block 
try sorry try try catch lock and exception e exception e the option pane and then you will show the message and in the try block now you will write your message so you will write your message message variable is equal to mime message and in in here write session so I think this should be in small and this session is this so I have to correct this spelling S E S S I O N okay and what is this cannot find the symbol so I think it must be let's try it once again M I E mime so this is the thing oh I forgot new yeah so this is the session we are calling in this message so don't forget that this session we are calling here and in the next line you will write message dot set from and in small brackets you will write new inter net internet address and string address so in here you will write this and here you will provide your email id which you have written here or whatever name you want to write so from your email id you have written and then you will write message dot set recipient so you can write set recipient and message dot recipient dot two comes automatically and in place of null you will write internet address and after that write dot pass and in place of date you will write the email id of the recipient to whom you are writing your mails you have to write your his email id for example his email id is abc at the rate of gmail.com and what is the error let's see okay let's check so I think I have done mistake here set recipients so 
add a little s here and this is the email id to whom you are sending your message now quickly set your subject subject and your subject maybe hi this is me this can be your subject and then you will write the content of the message message dot set text and you can write your message content hi how are you i am fine like this whatever you want to write and then you will send your message transfer dot transfer dot no transfer is wrong transfer sorry transport transport mm. always do the mistakes transport dot send your message so this line will send your message this is your message variable and which we are calling it here and after your message is sent you definitely want to show some message that your message is sent so just write j option pane dot show message dialog and here you can write message sent so you know that your message is already sent now let's try and run this program i will change this email id to my email id and here also and i will add a rep recipient's email id you should do that in order to run the program so i have changed the email id and password and i have written my email id and password and i already added the recipient's email id and now let's try and run the program i have already ran the program and i will when i click this button my message sent message should come so i know that my message is successfully sent so i am clicking it and my message is sent so i know that my message is sent so this is the confirmation that my message is successfully sent so in this way you can send a message from your gmail id to any email id and you can use this code into your project i hope this will help in your further assignments and please rate comment and subscribe and join my facebook page also and you can ask your questions there also so bye for now